just can't put band-aids on problems, especially when you're handling federal dollars. New information about unhealthy conditions at an Anderson apartment complex. Earlier this week, we showed you some of the unfixed issues residents are dealing with at Bingham Square Apartments. And tonight, more than a dozen families face losing their homes. Yeah, 21 units failed inspection and the complex says it will no longer accept Section 8 housing payments from the Anderson Housing Authority. WRTV's Rachel Wilkerson is talking to residents there that are trying to figure out the situation. Anderson Housing Authority says it forks out around $120,000 a year for its tenants here and expects the property to make sure living conditions are safe. The ideal is that you get your money on time every month, even if no matter what, and that you invest back into the property with those funds. You know, yeah. CEO of the Anderson Housing Authority, Kimberly Townsend, says a recent inspection at Bingham Apartments revealed all 21 of their tenants' units were unsafe. 11 units have emergency health and safety issues due to missing or inoperable smoke detectors, water leaks, no air conditioning, loose railings, and more. Per federal requirements, the complex was told those issues needed to be fixed within 24 hours or payments will stop being issued to the property. Townsend says inspectors were back on site today, but property management told the housing authority they have not completed all the smoke detector installations, nor have they done any other repairs and they would not be doing any other repairs. She says the other 10 failed units have 30 days for repairs to be completed, but the complex sent notices to some of the Section 8 tenants who pay month to month, notifying them that they have until November 30th to vacate or will face eviction. Management told me those with leases have until their lease is up. The company says it will no longer accept Section 8 vouchers. I asked the manager on site why. She says the decision came from corporate. We checked with corporate and are waiting to hear back. No, it's not right. Like I said, everybody don't live like this. It's not right. Some people are here, you know, trying to make it. Francie Steen is one of those impacted. She says the decision isn't fair. Winter coming now, you know, everybody got to pack up and try to move or try to find. It's hard to find something, you know. I can't walk out my door and go find a house to move in, you know what I'm saying? So is they going to accept uh, Section 8 vouchers, you know what I'm saying? So you don't know that. Townsend says one tenant has already moved to new housing, so 20 families now face losing their homes before the holidays. By November 30th whether it's through the enforcement of the property or through the regulations that we have to follow. Townsend says the housing authority is doing all it can to help. She believes retaliation is part of the apartment complex's decision along with, quote, money issues. You just can't chase rent. You have to develop a, a plan to place people in safe conditions while you work on the problems. You just don't want to leave people there and you collecting rent. Working for you, Rachel Wilkerson, WRTV. Well, other tenants who do not rely on Section 8 funding say they're dealing with mold, leaks, and broken glass. The mayor of Anderson told WRTV earlier this week that he is working to hold the property owners accountable. The Housing Authority is holding a mandatory meeting for the impacted tenants on Monday.